Hi, I'm Oliver Knight from Oliver Stickers. Probably you have remembered my uh, video about Tony Fisher's secret puzzle. Obviously, it was just a joke, but I'm intent to show you the whole uh, process of the sticker making. And now, after Tony showed his puzzle, I'm ready to show you. So, here it is, the package from Tony Fisher. Let's open it. Okay, so it looks really very very interesting. It will be a great challenge to create the stickers for it because as I as far as I can see all sides are different or at least they look different. I'm checking just so if there are some similarities or not. Uh, yeah, there are some similar pieces, but uh, all of them are different, so I need to sketch up all the different faces for this puzzle. Uh, and Tony asked for this particular uh, sticker. I'm, uh, I'm thinking about uh, the chrome gold uh, will be a good choice for it, so I will check and we will see how the final result will came. Unfortunately, I have bad news. My SD card has failed and uh, all of my uh, videos lost about uh, the creation of uh, the templates. At least the first part of it. But I can show you this. This is uh, an A4 paper and as you can see, here are the sides of uh, Tony Fisher's Golden Dodecahedron's puzzle. Uh, each of these uh, are cello tapes, and on the cello tape, uh, I draw the template uh, of each size. I put the cello tape on top of the puzzle, uh, draw each piece around, and after it, uh, I glue the cello tapes on a paper and scan it. And now uh, I will show you uh, my video of uh, the sticker making on the computer. I have just scanned our A4 paper and uh, opened the CorelDRAW software what I am using for uh, sticker designs. You can see all the inv individual uh, sides here and let's start to create the final template from this. First of all, uh, I need a uh, pentagonal face pattern. If I put it on top, you can see it's not the right size, so I need to scale it. Uh, from the puzzle, I know that uh, from corner to corner, it is exactly 40 millimeters. So, this should be a really nice fit. I'm just checking if it's okay or not. Yes, it is. So, I rotate it oh, 3 degrees. Yes, that's it. Uh, I will use this exact same uh, pentagon for all the sides. I just need to copy it paste on top of the, the faces and after it I will cut away uh, these intersections I show you one and after it I speed up the whole video 
First of all, I need to check uh, the sizes of these gaps. It's three and a half millimeter. It's again around three millimeters. I check a few usually and uh, use the exact same for all. I know that there are some gaps which is larger than others. For example, here it's four and a half millimeter. And here it is again, it is only three. So I will use three and four millimeters for the gaps. I know this is three millimeters, this should be four. Uh, no, maybe. Ah, yes, four. So I will use these numbers uh, to create the gaps between the stickers. So just draw a rectangle. And make the dimension four millimeters. Put it on top and just put a corner to this intersection and the rotation center need to be on uh, this intersection the piece. Just check the guidelines. I'm usually using guidelines, but uh, in this template maybe I won't need it. And I start to ro rotate this rectangle till it's in the final good shape. As you can see from here, uh, obviously my drawing is not correct because in here this is in a bit turn the way but I will go for a more or less good uh, template and after it when all the, uh, the sides are ready I will cut, cut them all and check for uh, defaults and I correct them and that's all how I use it okay one more Was three millimeters again. So three millimeter. the whole thing like that and this way yes this should be good Mer merge this two piece and uh, I use this tool uh, back minus front and this cut away the rest and now I have a more or less correct template of course, I need to add uh, fillets on the corners, corner roundings. But first, I wanted to check uh, the sizes. So uh, I will leave them sharp, and if, need, uh, if they are correct in size, I will use them uh, as is and add the roundings at the end. Okay, so the next one. From now, I will speed it up and uh, you will see how I work. You can see uh, here are all the drawed templates. I just uh, need to say these are just drafts. Uh, in these cases, I usually rotate them uh, till uh, they are in the same direction, and after it, are, I uh, start the test cut. 
Okay, so speed it up and see you within a few minutes. And now all the template is put together. Uh, I will save this draft template and uh, start test cut. For sticker cutting I use uh, silhouette and uh, I just need to grab my template from uh, the folder where it is, drop it in and uh, place it here. I've got plenty of adjustments here but I've already set it up so I just need to go here and push uh, this button to start the cut. After I've cut the first sticky template, I've put it on the puzzle and see how well it fits. Obviously, at first cut, never, never ever <laughs> I've finished the stickers correctly. So I need to go back to my software and make some adjustments on the sticker templates. As you can see here, I'm uh, just modifying it just a little bit in every single uh, individual stickers. With this, I can go for a bit better template. Would I need to cut it again, test it on the puzzle, go back to my software, adjust it, and I do it till uh, the result is perfect, or at least perfect for myself. After several tries, I have uh, finally finished the template. I will show you the difference between uh, each different template. So first of all, you can see here our A4 paper, paper with uh, the solo tapes and the uh, sides of the puzzle. From this, I've created this template. This was the first uh, one I have tested. I've cut it out, put it on the puzzle, uh, and started to correct uh, the failures. Here's the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. This is uh, the best so far. Uh, there are really tiny adjustments I need to make. Uh, and also, as you can see, all the corners are sharp and pointy. Uh, I need to uh, put some uh, roundings on the corners. But that's all. Uh, I think I will go for a final template uh, and cut it from the final sticker and put it on the puzzle. And one more thing, I would like to show you this. This is the, th uh, the four uh, different templates uh, on top of each other. You can see how I uh, modify the template. So yellow was the first one, the green red and the pink is the last one so you can see there are not too much difference between uh, each template but there are some this is the fourth last template on the puzzle it is uh, almost perfect you can see letters and numbers on the sides it is for recognizing uh, each side of my template and so uh, I just need to make the corner roundings and it will be finished. As for last editing step, I just need to add corner roundings to each individual stickers and with that cut the stickers and hopefully it will be ready. So here it is, the template uh, is already cut from the golden sticker and here is the puzzle. I've removed all uh, the stickers except the ones with the letters and the numbers so from this template I know which side need to go where 
because this is A, B, C, and one, two, three, four. So it's really easy uh, to recognize all uh, the different sides. I will remove these yellow stickers before I apply the stickers. So first, uh, I just cut uh, in pieces uh, this template, not cut them uh, through, just uh, cut the top sticker so I can remove just one uh, outer part of the sticker. Like that. Just carefully not to cut the stickers. Okay. Because removing the whole background at once uh, you are risking uh, to lose some uh, very small stickers and with cutting them in piece you can just simply remove one by one so it is ready like that as you can see and I'm starting with the first one it's the A1 It's coming down. I'm checking for the A1. Here it is. I removed the yellow sticker. Be always very careful uh, with removing the stickers because uh, you can easily damage the whole puzzle. So with an exacto knife like this, you need to be very, very careful. Also the same with the stickers, because uh, you can damage these stickers really easily. Okay, so here it is. And from now on, I will speed up the video and see you at the end. Finally, Tony Fisher's Golden Dodecahedron puzzle is ready. Thanks for joining me uh, in this video. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed it and uh, see you in my next video. Goodbye.